was in charge to make the development. So we started it, uh, I think, two or three months, uh, two months after the, the, the previous, uh, the, the, the previous uh, tool. And so here we, I will show you what we did with the, the funds and uh, how far we, we were goes and uh, so, yeah, just a small demo of uh, what was done. So first, when you connect, you have the login. So it's quite simi we try to make it quite similar to what you have with uh, uh, the current Triton client. So I will log in. Uh, yeah, uh, on my laptop, it's a little bit slow because it's a very s slow. CPU and uh, stuff like that, but yeah. Ah, man. Do you have a smile on my chat? No? Chat? I'm participating. <laughs> 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 uh, so, when you logged, you, you get the, the menu. Uh, the same as you get uh, with uh, the, the GTK client. Y you can expand it and so on. Uh, when you start, you click on one list view or form view. Uh, just one click. You take a double click. And so I have two. Uh, with one click, it opens a tab with, of course, the list of uh, what should be shown. and. <coughs> okay. And so you have the list, and uh, you have the usual toolbar buttons on top, the filter, which now you have to write correctly what you are searching, otherwise there is no help, no completion and so on, but otherwise it works, because if I uh, search for PAM, uh, I get spam. Uh, on the if you click on the record, you switch to the form view. So the form view is almost complete. Uh, we worked very hard to get it render it just as the GTK client because. HTML and the GTK widgets doesn't always behave uh, the same. But here about the sizing, the uh, space use between each field and, and so on, has uh, been almost fixed yeah. to work exactly the same. As you can see, it's quite the same as uh, what you, uh, you get with the GTK client. Uh, what we still miss is for the one too many and many too many, the list is not correctly uh, uh, aligned vertically, but uh, that's something to, to work on. And uh, the usual stuff, uh, the tabs work, uh, the, f the required fields are in blue, and uh, yeah, you, you get the same toolbar also for the one too many. Uh, the buttons here also works, can create a new party if you want. I guess. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think there is a bug <laughs> uh, because there is the validation, but we don't have uh, pop-ups that say what goes wrong. And I think here the form is not valid and doesn't allow me to create a new one. Uh, but maybe if I reload. Uh, you can switch back. Just a second. 
we have here also all the, the, the usual action for the form uh, without shortcut for now because there is no easy solution with HTML for shortcut. We have some to think about it. Um, you have also the action and the relates that are working. So I can click, ch uh, check. Launch this wizard. And <coughs> okay. This one doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the relates, I can see the invoices. I need to open the invoices. Uh, this part it doesn't have invoices, but probably uh, the customer. Yes, for the selection, we implemented something a little bit different than the, the GTK. You can see you have checkbox uh, on the left of every row. You can select there, so you have multi-selection. And there is also a shortcut here to select everything. It selects everything, even what is not displayed. So you could have a long list. So we show only the 21st records. But when you click here, you select also the records that you don't see. And so you can perform, uh, run a wizard on a large uh, list of uh, records without having to fetch it to, <coughs> the, to the, uh, browser in the into the browser. And uh, yeah. Uh, the selection also works uh, by clicking anywhere. And if you click a second time on the already selected records, it switches to the form view. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the report, <coughs> I think it works, of course. <laughs> it's Nicola who developed it. <laughs> uh, okay, so, so uh, so you can do download it and ask to open it with uh, the right. Uh, you, you can indeed you can see we use the right uh, main type and so it the browser uh, proposed the default software for this main type uh, there is just one drawback this feature doesn't work with uh, internet explorer uh, 9 i think uh, for yeah i think it's the old version of internet explorer but there is we try to find a way, except by using uh, some flash stuff or any things like that. There is no <laughs> solution uh, to download uh, binary uh, data and open it. Because it's the file, so the file interface that is built that is built in uh, HTML five. I think uh, I'm not a HTML so, so the support is good on Chrome. And it, it makes very strange names because, as you see, maybe you know, it's a bunch of numbers. Yeah. And, uh, we don't know. We don't have yet the option to make uh, good-looking names for those because they are saved, in fact, in the in, I guess the memory of the of the browser. And then afterwards, we use an internal memory. Uh, uh, yes, you can resize the, the menu and the tab. Uh, we have the here, it's the preference uh, pop up from, uh, for the user. <coughs> it will appear, yeah. Uh, we have still 
small issue with pop-ups that opens to, to small, but mm -hmm. there is someone who proposed a patch for that. I don't know if he is there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it will land uh, soon, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, the usual stuff. And it reloads the, uh, the menu, so if you change the language, you will have a new language. Uh, I don't know if I have something else to show. Uh, the logout, so you can log out. Yeah. We keep it very simple on the top. Uh, first, there was the first attempt to create a menu and, uh, and so on. But indeed, we need almost nothing except for preference and logout log on this uh, on the web application. It's not. I think we should not try to put the database creation and stuff like that in the web client. It should be just uh, used with an existing uh, server and that's all. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if I have something more to show you. Uh, the sales part. I have to show you the minute one part. Domains here. Oh. The? the domains which are also. Ah, yes. Here you have the tabs, the domain tabs. So you can see the different domains. <coughs> Still no, no boot map, but probably coming. Up. And you see the sales view is almost the same as the. With ex also quite a little bit code of it. We have exactly the same glitch <laughs> uh, presentation as with the GTK client. You can see here the state fields are not uh, aligned with the those. And in GTK, it's also the case. So <laughs> <laughs> was it hard to implement this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a little bit. Uh, it, it was very strange because uh, First, we saw that it will be very complicated because the indeed what the difficulty is is about the expanding property of the field. Should it uh, expand to take all the place or not? And in uh, HTML, you, you have to manage it with the width and a percentage. Uh, main issue is that when you hear, if you look at this, you have no, so four uh, columns where you have two fields that should expand as much as possible and the two others not expand. So the easy stuff is to say this one put uh, 50%, this one 50%. So uh, for simple case, it was very easy. So you, you, have, you count the number of uh, widgets to expand and you divide by some uh, 100 by this number and you have the percentage. But it becomes more and more complex when you have a field like that, who takes also, you have this one and this one that expand. So with this method, you will <coughs> have also both 50%, but it will break the one above because this one will take less place than it should. So you have to compute it. And uh, finally, what I implemented is that I, uh, draw all the tables, and after that, I pass the row with the, by computing the size of the row that are the most constrainful. Yeah. And there I compute the, the space needed, <laughs> <laughs> and after that, I, I uh, split the, the, the space available for all the other row that have less constraints, and then compute the percentage for everything, and. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah and uh, you can see. Is that if you resize the, yeah. the window? Yes, because this is, uh, it's computed just once. That's the magic of the stuff. Because we put the right percentage, everything is relative. So, it takes the space correctly. You can see uh, the description is always bigger than other fields. No, no. Yeah. So 
Mr. Big Smith. I think we should increase this <laughs> <laughs> the size. The default jQuery one. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, it works. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there was also some stuff to, to get the buttons aligned. Uh, here you can see that the buttons keep the same space for the many to one, and the entry grows. And it's very complicated in HTML to get this. You have to, to trick, to, to, to use the some tricks to, to get that. Once it's done, it's done. Uh, here. Uh, I think it's almost there. I don't know if you, if someone wants to see how the code is structured and uh, how to start to help us <laughs> improving the client. I, I would like to know uh, which frameworks you use and why. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Uh, so we use just jQuery and jQuery UI for for the widgets. That's all. And of course HTML and uh, CSS. Also what's the reason to select these ones and not maybe some that are bigger or something? Uh, probably there is other framework that could be also be chosen, but uh, this one we were uh, quite uh, used to uh, in some way. Uh, but you have two kinds of of jQuery, uh, JavaScript uh, frameworks. You have some that uh, give you everything, widgets, uh, ev and event loops that are another event loops than the browser one, and so on. It's, it allows you to create a real application, uh, but you have to fit in their uh, design and choice and so on. Uh, here with Triton, we have already some cho uh, design choice made for, for with the JTK client. How the what is a <coughs> minute one and uh, uh, and so on. Some widgets are predefined by the JTK client. So d this kind of framework doesn't fit very well for for this job, I think. Uh, for and to give some names, I think about Kuklu, uh, 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 XJS. XJS, yes, it's they are very big uh, library, but it's very difficult to. Or you just use a small part, and the small part indeed is jQuery. It's what does jQuery for for us. Mm -hmm. jQuery is chosen because first it's very close to HTML. They just try in some way to fix all the mess in HTML uh, and uh, JavaScript. Mm -hmm. When I say HTML, uh, include uh, JavaScript. Uh, it allows us to not think about browser compatibility and so on. So that's the, the why we choose jQuery. And jQuery UE, because for it's very small and they give us uh, we jet really quickly uh, without having to rethink about it, uh, like select uh, drop down here like that, uh, and so on. That are a little bit painful to, to create yourself. Mm -hmm. So uh, they bind the all the events for you, and that's uh, that's fine. And otherwise, we try to f to stay closer to the HTML, the basic HTML. So an input, it's an input, and uh, <coughs> a button, a button, and, and so on. Like that, we, uh, I think we create uh, an easy, uh, a simple HTML page. Because at the end, we write JavaScript to produce just an, HT an HTML page. In some way, uh, that's it. But As an idea will be also to leave JavaScript and use uh, 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 
Coffee Script. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not great, but I think in the f for for the future when JavaScript will evolve, I hope. Uh, <laughs> script will be uh, very difficult I think they, they will have very a lot of difficulties to in, to go to the next version of JavaScript oh, and so yeah so they, they will have to to make a new version and we don't know and, and so we will be blocked by the, those guys that's all uh, and uh, and for building all of that, we use uh, Node.js uh, and GreenFi to, to describe or to uh, build the, all the JavaScript files. So you can see <coughs> the source is a set of. Uh, I think they won't see that in the background. Yeah. I think it's really uh, most uh, you are clear to, to put in the top of the... Uh. Okay. So we have uh, a, <coughs> a lot of small uh, JavaScript uh, script, but of course you cannot load all Java JavaScript files individually in your web page. It's not very efficient. So we need a, a tool to build to concat everything into one big file. This is what we have in the disk here. Yeah. So we have just one JavaScript uh, file and it's built with the, the green file. So it's a, a kind of make file somewhere. And, uh, but it comes from the node Node.js uh, platform. I don't know how to, call, uh, how to, to name it. And so, and so we have uh, JavaScript Inter and stuff like that for, that help us to write good JavaScript. So, and you just build by typing run and you compile everything. And we have a run dev where you, the JavaScript is not a glyphy. Glyphy. <laughs> so it's easier to debug. Uh, yeah, and and we have the same for CSS. Uh, for CSS, uh, we choose to use. Uh, sorry. Yes. Uh, yeah. We choose to use less. Uh, which is a guy uh, how to define the less so yeah it, it, it adds you some functionality that CSS doesn't have to ease your the design of your CSS file uh, you can define uh, here this is uh, variables that you can use later in your CSS file so it will ease the management when we decide to change something. We have var variables, and you can <coughs> define uh, uh, CSS in a tree structure. So here, you can have different uh, CSS clause where they all belong inside uh, a tree view uh, cl class. So it's easier, I think, to manage then uh, plain old uh, CSS file, because at the end, we have something like that, where, where we have to duplicate uh, every time the same, uh, the same stuff. So uh, less allow you to write less, I guess. Uh, and so the, the ground file also compiled for you uh, the from less to CSS. Uh, yeah. Did you have to implement a widget uh, in, uh, beyond those offered by jQuery UI or not? Uh, no, because there, there's a role of basic widgets we can 
yeah. I've done jQuery with yeah. page. If you have to use another one, like a plugin that we have many. Uh, we, but you can see the many to one is a custom widget mm -hmm. because we had buttons, but it's just an entry box and buttons. Uh, the date widget is the jQuery date widget. Just we just you need to get the buttons behave like we want because uh, jQuery date widget when you focus in it pop up the pop up and it's not really good for keyboard only uh, management and uh, also when you leave it doesn't close the, the widget or some stuff like that. Uh, otherwise, no, I don't think. Uh, of course, we have the pop pops. Uh, what? The we can talk about the tree uh, because there is no in HTML. Mm -hmm. uh, indeed, it's it's a table. This is a table where we add. Yeah, here it, uh, the size of the columns is not uh, correct. But, uh, we add just spaces to create the the depth of the tree. Mm -hmm. And uh, indeed, when you expand or collapse. We draw, we draw all the table, but you don't see it because it's fast. Uh, that's the big, let's say, because uh, non-standard behavior of this mm -hmm. HTML. Because we fill it with spaces, which is not very good, but there is nothing for that in, uh, in HTML. Uh, well, uh, Pagination. We can open a, a big uh, currency, it's a big list, I think 200 or something like that. And uh, indeed, we show just the 21st, and we have uh, more buttons. <coughs> and if you click on it, it just loads yeah. the rest. Uh, uh, Another yes. But if you select as I said here, yeah. indeed, it's the 200 that I selected. Uh, no, uh, otherwise, I don't think uh, jQuery provides for us the ah, for the, the date time widget. So in jQuery, you have uh, a date widget, and I manage the dead time, well, we, we need to have time in more. Uh, in a way, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky. Indeed, I, you can define a template to display the, the date, and I put the time in the template. Uh, so I convert the time into string, and I put it in the template. Like, like that, it behaves like if you are, uh, if you are manipulating the time uh, widget, but indeed, it's the fixed part that is parse it later, and so that's also a, a small trick. And uh, when speaking about the time, uh, the time management in G JavaScript is uh, really buggy stuff and unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, you don't have that. That doesn't exist mm -hmm. in JavaScript. And so, and they have you have two kind of the time. The time in the local, in the local uh, the time zone of the browser, and in UTC. And when you start to use, you think about using a date time for the date, of course, you have to ca be careful with the time zone because the date you are cho choosing is not necessary. It will not be necessary a real date because of time zone change. It could be uh, a day before or a day after. So. That's uh, and uh, especially for some country like Brazil, where they change the time at midnight <laughs> <laughs> because you you change the uh, so that's uh, but I wrote a, a fix for that and uh, yeah otherwise 
JSON R the JSON RPC is we use some tricks because uh, we have decimal which doesn't exist in JavaScript so we create an object decimal uh, no we use numbers so for float we use numbers uh, yeah it's a little bit strange because JavaScript is strange we use numbers that are not instance of numbers so it's the numbers the like everybody use when they write JavaScript and for decimal we use a number that is an instance of number like that we can make the difference and we can send to the server the right uh, JSON uh, representation and on the server side we have a decimal and a uh, float that's uh, the tricky part that's the tricky part and maybe there is also stuff I don't remember so yeah and we create an object time for just for time because it doesn't exist and so here this is decimal so you can see we make a new and so decimal is just number so we create an instance of number which is not allow it for the right uh, in the guidelines of JavaScript uh, that's why we use our decimal to uh, trick the inter but uh, yeah for me I think it's the only way to, to be able to have the difference between float and decimal mm -hmm. and to not put a lot of uh, bad code in the server side to deal with okay uh, normally I should receive a decimal but I have a float so uh, I convert it from and ah, we have test some test uh, for for the JSON part uh, for the domain inversion and uh, for the domain parser so, uh, yeah, the domain inversion is implemented Difficult to show, but there. And uh, so, yeah. But we don't have graphical user interface test. Don't know exactly how to write that with such kind of client. Just it's very but we don't have the same for HTTP. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious about, uh, for example, creating new types of widgets or talking about extensibility because we are on a web site. Uh, for example, maybe in, a, in the typical client, maybe it's difficult to represent a, a map via <laughs> map, uh, Google Maps. I don't really care what technology you use. Mm -hmm. But for example, for a web, it it shouldn't be difficult. And how? Did you take the extensibility of this client in mind? I mean, uh, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, in some way, uh, the client should be have in a defined way to be a, a good client for uh, Triton because we rely on some kind, of some behaviors. Uh, but of course, I think. We could be extend uh, widgets, add new widgets to, to display uh, the predefined type, but in a different way. I think it's something uh, we should be able and we should allow. And for me, I think if you look, we, yeah, that's for the tree, but for, it's the same, for the idea. Yeah. You <coughs> see, uh, for each kind of widget, we have a simple uh, switch case uh, function, mm -hmm. which returns the, the class 
to use or to display widget, and all those class should be have, uh, there is a, a generic widget interface. So we sh you should just create a widget that follow this uh, API. And so I think uh, you can just monkey patch this list and add your widget if it's not, uh, and return your custom widget that you created in your JavaScript stuff. And after that, it's up to you to write the code that show the map or the, <laughs> the stuff. Yeah, no, it's, it's primarily yeah. for, for map. <coughs> we, we developed a, a real-time geolocalization application for Android. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tried in OpenERP to, to, to have a Google map inside the, the, the web client. And, yeah. and I tried for a few days, and it was almost impossible because the, the framework they were working on were almost, uh, well, I didn't really understand. There, were, there was no documentation for mm -hmm. those frameworks, and it was impossible for me to call for the Google Maps API. Okay. API. Sorry. So uh, I gave up after two or three days uh, because I saw it was impossible, and I have to implement it in another website. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why I'm curious about it because I know many in QTK clients it's almost impossible no. to show a map. Uh, uh, it's uh, indeed this customization I just sh show. You can do the same in the GTK client with a plugin. You you put. In the GTK client, you have a plugin directory. <laughs> you can put uh, a Python code there. And this code could also extend a dictionary on the form view to add a new widget. Mm -hmm. it's, it's doable, but uh, the drawback mm -hmm. is uh, about dependencies. Mm -hmm. So your plugins, if it's used a new library and so on, it could be available to, to, to work. But not impossible, and for GTK you can do. So we we have made some work to to display uh, maps, yeah. but <coughs> it's a bit complicated. We should switch to GTK three to be able to do it. But it's it's in the the pipe. It's in the plan to to switch to GTK three one day or, or another. <laughs> Do you think is uh, Sao um, far enough uh, to uh, to make a more beautiful uh, CSS? Uh, yeah, uh, I guess there was some uh, so that. Oh, it's enable uh, after that. I will show an example of Apply and Artem to to Sao if it's possible. I, I think it's now. <laughs> Go. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we should keep it uh, very simple for the base. Uh, I think c CSS customization sh should be uh, done. I it's customization. So we should provide a kind of uh, white, uh, uh, blank, blank uh, mm -hmm. uh, style where everybody could do what he wants. Mm -hmm. But by default, keep it very simple. Otherwise, I, you, your customization will at first to fight to undo what was done and do your your style. So I think let's keep it easy and simple and just make it work and look good, but uh, but not fancy. Is it possible to have URL which points on to opening one of the Uh, normally, uh, I think to to be complex, complete, uh, the web client sh should support the URL of try the GTK client, the same kind of URL. So I guess we will pass them as parameter or something like that. And so when you open it, it will automatically open the right form on or the right list or stuff like that. But I don't think we. We will be able to just 
to allow you to just take a small part of the fo of a form and so on and display just somewhere else uh, in embed it in a website or stuff like that. Uh, I don't think it's, it's I don't <coughs> think it's the right tool to do that. And probably it will be better to make just a simple template and display data uh, raw data uh, in it. Just like with Snarig or something like that. Uh, what do you think is needed to make uh, an official release? Uh, for the we're still missing the editable tree. Uh, and some stuff, um, the editable tree, uh, Nico is working on it, and I guess by the end of the month, we will have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on and I'm working on the pop-ups and the feedbacks to the user when you click on save and stuff like that to have uh, some feed feedback, uh, an error message or stuff like that. Also, normally by the end of the month, it should be there. And then, normally, it should be enough it behaves correctly. It should behave correctly. Uh, so it should not send wrong data to the server and break stuff. But I'm not sure it will be usable for daily usage yet. It miss still uh, a lot of small features. Like we don't have tooltips. We don't have the filter, the completion, uh, sh keyboard mm -hmm. shortcuts. Focus management to show you the, the wrong field and stuff like that. So, for me, there is still uh, yeah, maybe you should a, a lot of work. Add those as uh, items in the book tracker or something else? I think or we will ju we'll just fill I, I, the I mean tracker with a lot of stuff. Uh, I mean, for somebody else to pick them up and try to solve them or something indeed like that. The, what we did when we started work and we did. Uh, when we started, we define. We say, okay, we we will implement this feature. So for this feature, we need to have <coughs> this feature on the model side, this feature on the RPC, or this feature, and we create the, the methods. And most of the time, we don't write completely the methods. We just write what we need, and we put to do commands to say, okay, we still have to do that this and that on this method. So if someone wants to help, just make a grep for to-do, and we, it's the to-do list <laughs> somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You have uh, the PMS and the JavaScript for uh, accessibility, um, so for HTML and all the interaction for not counting the jQuery UI stuff, but in general. Yeah, uh, it's in, in the same step as the GTK client. So uh, we write clear HTML normally, but uh, I, I think we miss shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts, for I, and keyboard navigation, uh, I, I think. That's a big missing point. And we don't have links between labels and fields. I think it's the main issue. Uh, The if, you, if you're using, say, JavaScript to hijack a key so that there's a keyboard shortcut, then how are you preventing overriding other software's keyboard shortcuts? I have no idea. Or I have no idea how to do good ch uh, keyboard shortcuts, but I think we we need some. We need to be able to navigate in the list view and stuff like that with uh, <coughs> the keyboard. But I don't know exactly how to manage. Uh, the the key event management in JavaScript is also horrible because <laughs> we discover that the event <coughs> is uh, spread uh, when it happens on a widget, it goes over and under in both ways. Stop, 
well, yes, you can return false and uh, you you can manage it to, to, to behave as you want, but it's very strange. So it's a, a strange world. Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but yeah, there is stuff to do and it's not always <coughs> easy to, to manage. But probably, uh, I think keyboard navigation instead of keyboard shortcut, I should say keyboard navigation and the links between the, the fields should be a first step. After that, I'm not sure. It should be tested <coughs> by, the, by people and report <coughs> missing stuff and, and so on. It's not a, it's a moving target, I think. Yeah. For now? Uh, after, after now? Nobody uh, does it, it will not happen. Last year we, uh, we did a fundraising yes. for, uh, for the web client, so uh, maybe for if we just not take missing 20% uh, of uh, last year uh, funds, uh, maybe we will try to make new uh, fundraise so uh, we have the money and uh, we'll be sure to have the next release. Uh, Why not? So we, we could wait. But, uh, yeah, of course. We'll like for the rest, but, uh, of course. The yes, there's clients waiting for uh, the for contract we, we have is to make a, a POC yeah. and so I think we almost achieve uh, the, the goals except for what the, the two stuff for the end of the, of the month are the missing part so uh, not everybody has been uh, invoiced yet so <laughs> uh, and after that uh, it's up to, to do uh, to general <laughs> Uh, yeah, of course, B2CK uh, will be uh, glad to continue the work, of course, but it could be someone else, of course, also. also. Okay. Uh, and I think for B2CK, I guess we will still work on free time on it, <coughs> even if it's what not, not always so. <laughs> But uh, I think better to discuss this result, what they want, and start uh, something. <coughs>